Alright, I don't know how well you guys can hear me. Um, hopefully this video doesn't lag once it's all done. But I'm going to do a little review on this stuff called Safety Sorb. Um, it's basically just clay. Um, baked clay. Hold on. It's basically just baked clay. And it's pretty cool. Um, you can get a bag for like $3. I, th I got it for like 3 uh, probably about four dollars, three forty something. But it's. I'll let you guys take a look. Now this is what it looks like. This is not wet. It's basically just dry, and the light's probably going to distort some of the color. But it's kind of a um, dark or light brown color. Yeah, the, my light's fucking with the color of it. But this stuff was recommended by. Peabody's Paradise. Um, I went ahead and picked it up. Um, asked I asked around a couple people of, you know, what kind of substrates could I buy real cheap, you know, and they recommended this. And it looks exactly like fluorite. You know, you pay twenty dollars for a bag of twenty pounds, you know, B but you can get like forty pounds for three dollars, around four dollars. It's crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what this does when it hits the water. Um, it does kind of cloud the water up. See, this is some clear, fresh water. Those are some air bubbles coming off of them. I don't know if you can see the dust as well. But that's the dust it produces. That's how dusty the stuff is. I'm going to go ahead and put all of it in here. Mix it up a little bit to show you guys. You can kind of see it's kind of giving a tint to the water, you know. But, let me see, hold on. Okay, this is all I have available right now. You can see it does cloud the water, so it does need a little bit of rinsing. Okay. I'll go ahead and talk about the pros of this. This stuff is really, really cheap. That's one thing. Another thing is, this is really, really small stuff. As you can see, it's pretty small. So if you have plants that have really, really hairline thin roots, this stuff's going to be pretty good for that. Some of the cons of it, you know, it's really cloudy, it's really dusty, it smells bad. It smells like cat litter. It's basically the same thing as cat litter. Um, some of the particles in it are really, really small. I'll actually show you here in a second how small some of these particles are. And you can see, that is some tiny ass rocks. I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to. Here's a pencil. That's really, really small. Small particles. That's one of the bad things about it, I guess, but, you know, as long as you rinse it out and you're careful with it, this is a really, really good thing you can use for your plant tanks, you know. That's what I purchased it for. I'm going to be setting up a 55-gallon, um, and I'm using this as the cap for the dirt I'm putting in. So, I will let you guys know how this is working once the 55 is established and set up. Um, as for now, that's about it. I just wanted to let you guys know how cool this stuff is, how cheap it is. This is like a great freaking deal. You can get this stuff, 40 pound bag, for about $4.00 can't beat that so thanks for watching um, shout out to Peabody's Paradise who suggested this to me they got some awesome shit on their website plants about anything you can think of for plant tanks anyway talk to you guys later see ya